Hi there. Welcome to Let's Not Play, and I'm playing this piece of shit again. Uh, the idea behind this video is let's play this, not that, or more so, let's not play this, let's play that. And the game I want to tell you you should play instead of Binding of Isaac is Rogue Legacy. And <sighs> Binding of Isaac has a lot of flaws. I mean, it, it was cool in that it's sort of like a Zelda type game that's randomized and you can have a lot of different playthroughs that vary widely, wildly. And you, you know, you have a lot of replay potential there. And when this came out, I just said to myself, oh, I wish someone would do this better. Because I didn't like it very much. And someone did do it better. That game's called Rogue Legacy. So Binding of Isaac just starts you off in this Zelda type dungeon. And it is Zelda. It's aspiring to be like Zelda. It totally is, because it fucking looks exactly like Zelda. And you think it could have been a little more fun like Zelda. Like, so, here's the first thing that irritated me about the game. Not even the humor, just the monsters. Like, there are all these blocks, and I have to kind of, like, pop in and out and just fire here and then dodge the bullet and then fire and dodge the bullet. And you'll repeat this experience a lot. Now, this game also shows the other problem I have with the game. It's the humor. Look, look at these little things Isaac has to break. Well, they're poop. It's... Is that funny to you? Then, by all means, get on Steam and purchase this game, but it got pretty old pretty quick. And see, like, look, oh, bullets are everywhere. I'm getting hit. Oh, this must be a hardcore game, right? Well, no, it's just that I ran into this shit. Now, Rogue Legacy pulls that sucker punch bullshit as well. A lot of these games do, a lot of indie games that want to call themselves hard do. But Rogue Legacy gives you options to mitigate that. There's a, a skill tree and there are choices you can make and you can sort of play the game in your own way. With, with Binding of Isaac, you sort of have to deal with it being random every time. I actually spent way too much time playing this game trying to get a good video out so let's just die because this is how i normally play i just die if i don't get a good room very early because you might as well um there's really no point i don't think i've ever done that in rogue legacy i always try my best because there was always some point into continuing with finding Isaac. you know you just run into bullshit so often that you very often feel like, well, I might as well just call it. Um, it gets tired quick. The game just tires me out. I did one playthrough just because I paid for it and I felt obligated to, you know, give it a playthrough since I spent money on it. But, um, in the end, it's really not something I enjoy very much. I'm not a big fan of it. As, as you could tell, I mean, this is a trial for me playing this game again. Uh, Rogue Legacy is a lot more enjoyable. The Rogue Legacy humor is better. There are little piles of shit. There aren't monsters who shit. You don't get a Harlequin fetus upgrade. You're like you, That really happens in this fucking game. And you never do shit like this. Like, you might once in a while, but it always is justified. Where here, I just feel like they just wanted me to waste time strafing back and forth to kill this guy. And that's it. Now, I will give Binding of Isaac points in that it has better random effects. Rogue Legacy has one Diablo-style shrine. If you remember Diablo 1, the shrines usually gave you bad things, but rarely could give you a good thing. Usually, it ruined your character. Um... Beyond that, Rogue Legacy doesn't have much random. That monster will always drop a chest, so he's tougher. That's kind of cool. Rogue Legacy doesn't have that. They don't have randomized monsters. The monsters are all pre-made. And see, the pill did something bad to me, too. So it's kind of, I think, has an edge over it in the department of maybe having more in the playthroughs, subsequent playthroughs. Though I think Rogue Legacy builds up its difficulty faster and becomes more enjoyable 
more quickly and you really like you'll hit some point where either it's new game plus two or plus three where you're like well that was fun maybe i'll play it again someday but i think i'm out i'm done where but binding of isaac i don't think has that point i got new enemies for the second time i think i i beat it once then i got to the boss again and the final boss is really lame you could go look it up it's just designed in a way to vex you and that happens i mean that happens in rogue legacy but rogue legacy is a little more lenient binding of isaac i think is trying a little too hard to to convince us it's a hardcore game for hardcore gamers you know um here's a great example here's a 4chan meme shoop de whoop I always thought it was a fun meme. It's you know, Cell gets blackface and he shoots a giant laser out of his mouth. Though, 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 I don't know if you really should um put it in your game. You know, and you can only carry one spell at a time, and um, you know, Isaac never gets upgraded. You can unlock other characters. Um, for some reason nothing in the game has like an explanation of what it does so it when you're when you're really trying to play it and really trying to like win um you're gonna be best served by playing with like a wiki open that's what i found but it feels like well why am i playing the game if i have to have a guide open the entire time a uh, rogue legacy in that it doesn't have as much random shit doesn't need you to do that and the, these are the boss fights. You do a lot of these, and they they range from like not challenging, like this is just boring, really. Um, so the, I mean, I'll give Rogue Legacy an edge on that because the boss fights are pretty much fun, even if you cheese them, even if you're like frustrated. I think they're much much better experiences. Uh, that's pretty much it this literally you repeat that thing over and over until you get to some really hard boss fight with your mother where you get screwed over for the slightest mistake and you stack abilities until you just can blow her away and that's pretty much the fucking game you know that's binding of isaac i don't like it i think you should play rogue legacy as instead for the aforementioned reasons uh, have a good day and God bless.